In today's video, we're gonna go over some interesting stuff created by the 3D community. I mean, new tools and add-ons for different software, such as Max, Maya, Blender, Houdini, Cinema 4D, and so on. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Magic Wands for Vertex Colors, which is a new Maya plugin that simplifies the process of selecting vertex colors on your models. It works like Photoshop's Magic Wand tool, letting you click on a face and automatically select other faces with similar colors. The plugin includes a tolerance slider for adjusting the selection range and a multi-select mode to add additional regions. It also provides real-time previews of RGB and HSV values, which helps in understanding the color data. So basically, with a simple fill command, you can apply changes or reset vertex colors as needed. And by the way, the installation is straightforward, using either Maya's plugin manager or Maya's mail script on Windows. And if you are a Houdini user, this Houdini artist created a Houdini tool for animating plant growth and released it on Gumroad for free, which in turn allows you to scatter and control organic movements. It should work with any of your assets and it is useful for adding dynamic vegetation to any 3D scene. Now we're going to talk about the Maltoon Studio, which is designed for both Cinema 4D and Houdini with Redshift. This new shader pack features four themed sets, which are anime, comic, artist, and sci-fi, each providing a 100 preset toon shaders. The idea is to give you a quick drag and drop solution for achieving a distinct graphic style in your projects. The shaders come with an organized node system, which makes it simple to adjust outlines, shading, and other parameters without making a fuss. And as from what I can see, the controls are intuitive, letting you fine-tune your visuals while keeping the process efficient. And the good thing, the pack is optimized for recent Redshift versions, which can ensure compatibility and it will make sure that you have a good performance. Now, let's talk about 3ds Max with this script called Align Tools, which is a free plugin that improves precision in modeling. This new tool allows you to snap vertices, edges, or faces along the X, Y, and Z axes, regardless of whether you are in local or world space. And it manages connected geometry, ensuring that group components stay intact during alignment. And this feature is particularly useful when you need to flatten surfaces, create consistent edge flows, or prepare models for accurate UV mapping. So all you have to do is select the elements that you want to adjust, and choose the desired alignment axis and let the script handle the rest. And by the way, installation is quick and easy to do, with minimal setup requirements. Still with Max, we have another plugin called Chamfer Manager, which simplifies the task of managing chamfer modifiers on your 3D models. It basically organizes all chamfer instances in your scene into one easy-to-use list, allowing you to adjust settings such as the chamfer amount, segment count, and whether the modifier is enabled and you can do this in real time. It also highlights the affected object in your viewport, so you can immediately see the impact of your changes. In addition, installation is simple. Simply drag this script into your viewport and add it to your toolbar. And the script is particularly useful for artists who work on detailed models and need precise control over the edge treatment. It basically offers a practical and a great solution for handling chamfer modifiers efficiently. Another Max plugin is called Animation Loop, which is actually a cool animation loop script inside Max. It basically automates the creation of seamless animation loops by copying and pasting keyframes with an offset. It will first detect the initial and final keyframes of your selected objects, then it duplicates them to form a continuous cycle. The script is most effective when the start and end poses match closely, ensuring a smooth transition, which I would say it is really important. In addition, it features an iteration option that allows you to extend the loop's length and you can do that exponentially, which is ideal for background animations or procedural motion graphics. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these tools, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.